Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and this other person and what are you thinking or feeling about each other. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Capricorn 100%. So keep that in mind as you watch the reading. And let's jump right in for Capricorn Spirit. What messages, what guidance do you have for Capricorn regarding this other person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know? What do we need to offer? Oh. Overall energy between you. Wow, the lovers and the king of wands. Okay, on your side. We have the hangman and the tower. Oh my goodness. The tower. On their side, we have the page of wands and the five of wands. And the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, ace of swords. Okay, so some sort of um, communication, information, truth is very important here with the ace of swords. But wow, you have the tower. And the hangman so this could be some sort of um because the hangman is about seeing things differently and getting enlightenment because of it this could be some sort of like deep understanding or a situation where things weren't moving and all of a sudden the tower arrives and it's like everything erupts <laughs> But let's start with the Ace of Swords because this is the overall energy for this reading. We have the Lovers, Gemini energy here and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with uh, a fire sign or it could just be that there's a lot of chemistry here, passion um, for a connection. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Nine of Cups. This could be a discussion about what someone desires, what their wish is. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What would make them happy? Three of Wands. I'm getting like um, from this energy here, I'm getting um, wait, wait a little bit longer and we'll have everything we want. But let me see if that shows up with the third card. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. There's a waiting period here. It's like someone's waiting. Okay, the Nine of Swords. Um, I think, yeah, and then there's the Fool. So I think someone's a bit um, hesitant, afraid, or anxious. And they want to talk to you about it or ease your anxiety about whatever's happening here. The Fool is all about taking risks, a new beginning, a leap of faith into the unknown. So with the Nine of Swords, it's like someone might be a bit scared to do this. Maybe they're a bit anxious about a new beginning with you or a new start. And it's almost like, okay, well, um, I'm almost getting this energy of someone that maybe doesn't want to make a mistake. Another way to interpret this, and I don't, you know, I'm not saying that this is the situation, but I'm going to tell you, tell it to you like how it, how, what, how I see it, right? Um, this could also be that someone is talking to you about a situation that maybe needs a little bit more time so they're telling you just wait a little bit longer and we'll have everything that we want which is what I thought in the beginning but what they're not telling you is that they're the reason that you have to wait is because they're too scared to act now let's see let's see what this king this king of wands is not typically someone that's scared of anything king of wands they see what they want and they go after it Tell me about the King of Wands. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. See, someone's scared. They're acting like a King of Wands, but deep down they are scared. Or it could be they're stuck. You have the Eight of Cups. This is someone that has to walk away from a situation, but they might be too scared to do so. Your person does have the Five of Wands, so maybe they have some sort of conflict over there. And you have the Tower with the hangman. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. 
the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like this is a connection that is very special, very passionate, perhaps. Very strong. Maybe this is like a soulmate. You feel like this person is like the person for you. Um, but with the Four of Pentacles, I'm getting like you have not been able to really um, let go of this connection, even if you want to. Like maybe you're holding on to this soulmate. Despite the fact that perhaps you're not exactly like happy or satisfied in this connection. Maybe you and this person have a history and it's almost like you really can't see yourself with anybody else. But at the same time, it's like there's nothing really going on right now that should keep you there. Exactly. It's, it's just your own feelings, your own the way that you feel about this person, the history you have with them. Um, I feel like there is a communication that's going to be taking place, though, with the Ace of Swords. Maybe you've been talking about it. Maybe this is like a continuation of other conversations. But I feel like you're going to be talking about your connection, maybe the future of this connection. There's happy ending. Tell me more about the overall energy here of these two Capricorn and their person. Yeah, I feel like they're going to talk yeah coming together so this is like about you guys having your happy ending there's just something that is preventing this from happening and i think it's fear there's paralyzing fear at the bottom of the deck yeah i think that's the only issue here i'm, I'm speaking to a capricorn where fear is the only thing holding you back from being with your person so this could be something you're afraid of or your person is afraid of And it's paralyzing fear. So it's like someone's not able to really do what they want to do. What else do we need to know about the energy use between Capricorn and this person? Make the effort. Yeah, someone needs to make the effort here to make this coming together happen. Stay optimistic about your love life is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is you. I feel like you've been hoping for a happy ending and maybe you and this person this is exactly what you both want i don't get the sense that this person doesn't want this it's just it's, it comes at a cost you know you have to pay the price to have this and paying that price is overcoming some sort of fear that's the price so let's see why the hangman on your end now capricorn i have you on the left and your person on the right, but feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you. Why is the hangman here? The five of swords. Yeah, there's some sort of conflict that I feel has kept something from, move, from moving. It's like someone's stuck because of a conflict. This could be you or your person. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Wow, the two of cups. Can I get one more, please, for this tower? Oh my god, there's the tower again. I think there's some sort of tower that's going to affect a connection. I have a feeling it's your connection. Tell me about the tower, please. Can I get one more, please? Why is this tower here, sir? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Bottom of the deck, the King of Cups. So there's a tower that's going to be happening. I just don't know if this is your, I think it's, for a lot of you, it's going to be your connection because I feel this is affecting a soulmate connection with the Two of Cups and the Lovers is here. The Five of Swords, I don't know. It's, it's I, I don't know what this tower could be. The tower could be anything. It could be, a shocking revelation about a soulmate connection. It could be an unexpected separation. It could be that there's some sort of event that happens that brings down a tower and affects your connection regardless. So let, let's say there's a third party or someone else interfering in your connection or long distance or career or finances, whatever is interfering in your connection, there might be a tower there, but it doesn't help your connection with this person. Does that make sense? Tell me about the hangman. What the heck is going on here? Why is the hangman here? 
Yeah, Three of Swords. There's something here that's not right, Capricorn. And I'm not going to sit here and try to spin this. You know, I'm not going to be like, well, you know, it, it might be, th you know, Three of Swords somewhere else. I mean, it could be, sure. But for some of you, I think this is going to affect your connection with this person. The conflict that exists could have a negative impact on your current connection with this person. Um, it's going to obviously be different for all of you. Not all of you are dealing with a third party. Not all of you are dealing with, you know, something that is really strong. I mean, who knows? So I feel like whatever's happening here, and you know what? I feel like the reason, <laughs> sorry, my mind is going wild a minute right now. The, the reason that I feel this tower is so unexpected is and, and so shocking is because I think someone was being a hangman hoping that this tower wouldn't happen and it happened anyway you know it's like someone that's like hiding in a closet and there's like a fire outside or something or a water break or something and they're hoping that hey i'm closing this closet door so nothing will come in here and then what they don't realize is that the closet is filling up with water you know <laughs> crazy ridiculous analogy but you know what i mean it's like someone trying to go out of their way to avoid something and it happens anyway tell me about the page of wands this could even be a reveal of some sort like maybe someone you find out something you know you find out something Maybe like, for example, this person's telling you, hey, I'm, I'm, I filed for divorce or I quit my job, right? A very big, or I left that friend group or whatever. Um, a very big declaration, right? That they made you. And then you find out that it's not true. Well, that will cause a tower because then all of a sudden you're questioning your whole uh, connection. It could be something like that as well. Tell me about the page of wands. Three of Cups. Yeah, see, there's something else here. There's a Ten of Swords. Mm, I feel like this person's saying that they're going to be doing something, walking away from something. And it's like they're not admitting that they're too scared to do it. Or, I don't know, maybe they're too stuck to do what they want to do. Page of Cups, okay. Tell me about this Five of Wands. Oh my gosh okay we have the lovers again and the star gemini energy let me get one more for the five of wands there's a conflict here drama multiple people involved or just like a fight to make something happen like it's like, like you have to get go through certain people yeah seven of swords three of pentacles there is something else here i think it's a third party interference and it does not have to be another person it's anything that interferes in your connection i feel like your person has been trying to play both sides or avoid a conflict and it's going to blow up in their face I think there is no avoiding this conflict. If they're telling you, if we do this, I need to do it this way because that way, you know, through this approach, I avoid one, two, three, that's not gonna happen. This is gonna blow up anyway. <laughs> this won't end the way that you think or the way that they think, Capricorn. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. You know, and it's it's almost like they, they thought, well, you know, I, I have to avoid this obstacle. This is the best way that I can avoid this obstacle. But sometimes we can plan for something and the universe has other plans. Tell me about Capricorn, please. What do we need to know about Capricorn's energy, please? Coffin. So that's about an ending. There's something with an ending here, Capricorn. Now, I, I like I said, I have you on the left and your person on the right, so feel free to flip the energies um, if they resonate more for you. They don't necessarily have to stay there. Tell me about the person, Capricorn. Okay, see, they're saying they're working on something. In the bottom of the deck, I have Thief. That's that Seven of Swords energy. So, I mean, I don't want to say don't trust this person because it could be that they definitely thought that this Seven of Swords was the way to go, but I just don't think it's going to work out that way. 
I think that there's going to be some sort of aha moment that you're going to have about this connection. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy, please. We need to know about Capricorn. Falling leaves, time changes everything. Changes transition time. Yeah, I feel like you have been in this connection for some time, but something's changing here. Tell me about the person Capricorn is dealing with. Wedding, romance, new love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. And then far apart is at the bottom of the deck because, you know, you and this person are not together. You know, I, I just feel like this is one of those situations where you're both wanting the same thing. The outside influences are going to perhaps derail that a little bit. And it doesn't mean that it's never going to happen, but it might cause delays or there might just be situations where you realize that it's going to be harder than you thought or more or more complex than you thought. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. You matter to me. Yeah, I think you, you still care about this person. There's still emotions here. And I feel like for the longest time, this was your happy ending. Okay, I'm feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, they, they, they're feeling overwhelmed and they're saying it's all my fault. So something is happening here, Capricorn, where this person might not end up being who they say they are. Or they... <laughs> They try to get away with something. And I, and I don't want that to sound negative. It's almost like someone that just doesn't want to face, you know, they don't want to, they, they want to try to go the easier way because that way they can avoid the most heartache and disappointment and pain and even like financial difficulties. But sometimes the easy way is not the best way, right? And so this person might not end up looking like, they did at the beginning, right? Like at first you probably had a lot of trust in them, probably believed what they say. They probably had the best intentions in the world. You really felt you were going to eventually be with this person, come together, have your happy ending. Um, they told you they were going to, you know, work hard on this. But then over time, something has shifted. Something has changed there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.